Okay, this is going over the dosage calculations uh, packet that we got for homework. I know she touched on it briefly in class, but in case any of you had any kind of confusion, there's a more simpler kind of way to write it out. It's a little bit more clear than the dosage over amount times Q. Um, the best way to kind of remember it is you have your dosage, required or requested over your dosage on hand or supplied. So we'll call it S, dosage supplied. And then times volume. But with this part of the equation, you only need to worry about that if it's actually asking you a unit of volume. If it's saying that there's one milligram per five milliliters, then this part of the equation comes into play. If not, if you're just working with just purely tablets or units of the same measurement, you're just going to worry about this part of the equation. So for number one on the packet, um, it says the physician ordered uh, minipress two milligrams. So the doctor is requesting so that's our numerator, two milligrams, okay? But when we go and get the medication, we see that the dosage supplied is comes in only one milligram. So since it's not one milligram per five milliliters and it's just tablet form, we just stick with this part of the equation. So all it is is your numerator divided into your denominator. So number one is two. That's all it is. Um, I'll go over number two since it brings volume into it. Okay, so number two. It's saying that we need to get 30 milligrams, but it's only supplied in 20 milligrams per five milliliters. So don't worry about the five milliliters yet. Just know that it's saying 20 milligrams per five milliliters. So that's, since milliliters is a unit of volume, now we bring in the volume. So all we're going to do for this is take numerator, and divide it into the denominator and then multiply it by the units which gives us 7.5 so hopefully that helps kind of clarify that it's your dosage required whatever the doctor wants what we have to give them and then if a volume is needed, then we bring this part of the equation in. Um, we can go over one more, just in case. Uh, I'm losing you guys. Uh, not a teacher by any means. Okay, so number five on the packet. It's saying it wants 2.5 milligrams of medication, and it's only supplied in 5 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So again, since we're working with milligrams over here, we're going to work with milligrams down here. So it's going to be milligrams still, and it's going to be 5 because it comes in five milligrams per milliliter. And so the unit for a volume um, is going to be five, so. So once again, sorry, pen's being a little crazy. Once again, we're gonna take this numerator and we divide it into the denominator and then we bring it over in times 
which gives us 2.5. And that's all there is. Um, and this was, again, number five. Uh, I'll go over one more that's not with the units. Um, it's just a simple conversion again, just to show you. So for number seven, it's saying that the doctor ordered 20 milligrams at bedtime. So that's the dosage required for the patient. And then the dosage supplied only comes in 10 milligrams. So since there's not a unit of volume, we don't worry about this one right now. Um, we're strictly working with milligrams to milligrams. So all we do is divide numerator into denominator. So 20 divided by 10 equals 2. So she's going to administer two pills or two capsules of the 10 milligrams to equal the 20. Um, with something like this, it's pretty simple. We can do it in our head, but if you have to show how you got it or if, um, you know, you're working with larger numbers or different types of units, it's best to just write it out so there's less chance of error. Um, but just numerator, the denominator, and then if you're ever working with a unit of volume, then you just times it by the volume. So we have step one and then step two. And step three comes into play only with volume. So hopefully that helps kind of clarify things if she lost you. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know.